Science is a constantly evolving field. One portion of that is space. There's so much new information to learn about the universe around us, and astronomy continues to dive deeper into our galaxy, unpacking new mysteries and new challenges. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent space discoveries. NASA InSight Mole NASA's InSight lander, also known as the Mole, was created with the ability to dig itself at least three meters underground. The Mole has been sent to Mars in order to make new discoveries, landing on the Red Planet on November 26, 2018. The terrain on Mars was known to have been a challenge for the Mole, creating new difficulties in burrowing as it was designed. It's extremely difficult for scientists to mirror conditions that these technologies will face, as it's impossible to exactly replicate the terrain of the Red Planet. However, InSight is highly equipped for a variety of challenges, complete with arms that allow the lander to stay on track. Scientists were hoping that the mole could dig itself deep enough to get a temperature reading of the planet, which is one of the main purposes InSight was created for. Scientists also hoped to use InSight to spot meteors over Mars. This would allow them to obtain new information regarding how often meteors strike that part of the planet as well as better assess the impact of a meteor on the surface of the planet. Recent images captured may have suggested that the mole became stuck. As the mole requires soil friction to burrow, however, the soil beneath InSight appears to be extremely cement-like, which suggests the self-burrowing action causes it to bounce and remain in place. However, as of June 2020, NASA has released reports and confirmed that the mole appears to finally be underground. It's unclear to NASA whether the mole has made any significant progress, or whether it's run into some new problems, but they hope to have new intel soon. This will all depend on the kind of environment that the mole has found itself within, and whether traction will become another problem. The mole is truly venturing where none have gone before. Another potential problem for the mole is that winter is approaching soon on Mars. This means that dust storm season is soon beginning. Once this occurs, the atmosphere will continue to get dustier and may also impact the solar panels that the mole needs for power. This could negatively impact the ability to keep power supply in the near future, which would set back the progress intended for the mole. NASA is hopeful that this won't present too much of an issue. The mole is extremely fascinating because it tells us just how unique and innovative space discovery is. Through these new technologies, scientists continue to shape our understanding of the universe around us. Through InSight, we're able to access new parts of Mars that were once out of reach, in the hopes there will be valuable new insight into the Red Planet, and perhaps the universe in general. The Big Bang may be a black hole inside another universe. The idea that perhaps our universe exists within a black hole is actually not just an idea, but perhaps reality. Many people believe that the universe began from a single point of matter, which is exactly what a black hole is. The idea that the whole universe can be contained inside another is possible, due to how time and space can be warped, which is what the black hole theory suggests. The appeal of this theory is that it accounts for some of the issues with the basic Big Bang theory. The black hole Big Bang theory offers a theory that can be formulated within the bounds of the theory of relativity. It also offers important questions into whether the Big Bang happened at all. This theory suggests that within a black hole is a kind of expansion of matter capable of creating a universe. More specifically, capable of creating our universe. The theory suggests that instead of a Big Bang, our universe was actually born within a black hole. Part of this alternative understanding of the universe includes an important part of quantum physics, which is spin. Particles like atoms have an internal momentum that creates a spin. Spins in these particles interact with space-time, giving it a property known as torsion. Torsion would actually only be important in black holes. In this kind of environment, torsion would counter the gravitational force. Because of this, torsion could have had a role in the birth of our universe. Torsion would be capable of preventing matter from compressing into a point of infinite density. Instead, matter would reach a state of finite density, which when paired with the high gravitational energy would cause the production of particles. These new particles would cause higher levels of torsion. 
The torsion would prevent the black hole from collapsing, instead forcing it to expand, almost creating a sort of bounce. This would account for how our expanding universe came to be. Using this theory, each new bounce would create another black hole. In essence, each black hole could act as a tunnel from one universe to another, a sort of wormhole. This actually helps us solve the problem of singularity, and how all this came to be through one single point, because it gives a more plausible explanation. A lot of scientists take issue with singularity. It seems pretty unlikely that all of this came to be from a random single point of matter. Instead, the black hole theory suggests that singularity isn't really singularity, it's actually just a black hole. If the universe was born from a black hole, it would tell us what happened before the Big Bang, and suggest new interesting information into what black holes could be. It also means that an even greater universe exists within our own. The black hole theory does add up. While we can't really calculate what happens within a black hole, we can predict that a black hole would be able to grow to the size to contain everything that exists in a universe. This means one black hole could contain even more of them, meaning that within every universe is another. Now this is fairly hard to wrap your brain around, and it seems kind of astonishing. Believe it or not, this is a new theory gaining some serious traction in the field of astronomy. While this theory can be pretty mind-boggling, it's not as crazy as it might sound. In fact, it may answer more questions than it creates. It's theories like this that help us realise how much mystery there is left in the universe. Perhaps our universe exists within a black hole. The thought of that opens many new doors, and it keeps us digging to learn the truth. Hubble discovers moon orbiting the dwarf planet Makemake NASA's Hubble telescope has discovered a small moon orbiting Makemake. Makemake is the second brightest dwarf planet after Pluto, and is one of five dwarf planets internationally recognised. It was discovered in 2005. Its moon's been nicknamed MK2, and it's approximately 13,000 miles from the planet. The discovery of MK2 was made in 2015 using the Hubble's field camera. The discovery of a new moon around a planet can lend important information to the dwarf planet system. Through measuring the orbit of the moon, astronomers can calculate mass and learn of its origins. The discovery of MK2 also reaffirms the idea that most dwarf planets have satellites. Scientists also argue that discovering this moon has increased the similarities between Pluto and Makemake. Just as with Pluto, further exploring the Moon will offer new information that will allow us to understand whether the composition of Pluto and Makemake are at all similar. Part of the research scientists want to do into MK2 is into the shape of its orbit. Using the Hubble, scientists hope to learn whether the Moon's orbit is elliptical or circular. This will tell scientists how long it takes for the Moon to orbit around the planet. Current predictions are that if the Moon has a circular orbit, it will complete an orbit in 12 or more days. Not only does the shape of orbit help determine length of orbit, but it also provides clues into how the Moon came to be. If the orbit is smaller and circular, it suggests that MK2 came from a collision between Makemake and another object. This would have occurred several billion years ago, when the universe was still relatively young. However, the discovery of the Moon did solve one mystery about the planet, Previous information about the planet suggests that most of its surface is cold, but some areas seem to be warmer and darker than others. This stumped scientists as they couldn't understand the temperature discrepancy. However, with Hubble's new information on MK2, astronomers suggest that part of the warmer surface previously detected may actually be part of the surface of the Moon. This warmer surface is also darker in colour, which may also just be the darker surface of MK2. There are many ideas as to why MK2 has such a dark surface when its dwarf planet is bright and cold. Some believe that MK2 is so small that it can't gravitationally hold onto a bright, icy crust. This suggests the moon is similar to comets and other objects found in the belt with these planets. One thing is certain, every new discovery in space is important because it can transform what we know and continue to learn. These new space discoveries just go to show that what we know is changing rapidly. From new technologies to theories about how the universe came to be, discovering more about space is never boring, and there's never a shortage of amazing new discoveries to go around. So what do you make of these space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community, 
whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.